Hello everyone! Good afternoon! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Hello miracles! Hello my loves! Welcome and thank you for joining me this afternoon! Happy Friday TGIF! <laughs> Hello everyone! Who do we have on? Missy! Hi Missy! Hello Fernando! Hello, everyone. How are y'all doing today? Let me know how you're doing. Hi. Hello, hello. I love, love, love the energy happening today. So welcome, welcome to today's scope. Today is the fifth day of our self-love challenge. Welcome, Zoraida. Hello, my love. And I want to definitely focus in on for this day, giving us some angelic messages. Um, they were very clear with me this morning after my scope. They were like, we want to give them a message for the weekend. And we want it to be very playful. So I have, I'm going to turn and you're going to see the bedroom right there. But <clears throat> I have the angelic board here with us and then some cards as well. So these were the cards that were called for us to use today. Can y'all see very well? I might just move you with me. Yeah. So here we go. So today's message around self-love is all about our child, our inner child. So I'm going to do a reading with the board. What is in our highest and greatest good around our childhood and our inner child work? So there is a six and a two. That's an eight. And here we go. This is little Archangel Michael. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the message is love. The message is love. Let's see what the angels want to tell us about love. This situation can be healed with love. Visualize everyone involved, surrounded with healing pink light, and hold only loving thoughts about them. Don't worry about the situation and how it will be healed. Just affirm that it has been done. Your angels are reminding you of the power and influence that your thoughts and beliefs have on your inner child. You have the power through positive expectations to experience miraculous healings and shift away from your and shifts with your inner child meditate regularly and take excellent care of yourself in order to maintain a consistently loving outlook so that is our message from the archangels and one of the things i do want to note here is if you I'm gonna flip it so that you guys can see it but Archangels Gabriel and Metatron are the ones that really rule um, children. So if you're trying to conceive, um, definitely call. I'm gonna... Hi, I'm back. If you're trying to conceive, definitely call upon those two angels. Also, they, they will help us, you know, to, to give that love and light to ourselves and our inner child. So definitely don't forget that the angels are always there helping us, um, supporting us through our journey. So that is the first message for this day. I was called also to pull a goddess card, so I will do that as well. Ooh, <laughs> this is so funny. Mother Mary came up. And she's very beautiful. And as you can see, she's surrounded by the angels. 
This is additional affirmation for us that the angels are definitely with us right now. And it says, have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. And the message that is really coming across here is that we are not seeing all of the work that's happening behind the scenes, right? So, you know, imagine you're, you're watching the final production of a play, but you are not actually seeing all of the, you know, all of the technicians, all of the angels in the background really going to work, putting in their all, all this effort that's happening, um, energy being put towards this final result. Right, so you want the final result, but you're not actually being patient. You're not actually being patient to wait and, and also to live in that moment of gratitude and trust and faith that it is all coming, right? That it's already here. It's just a matter of where on the time-space continuum you're at, right? So it's already in place. It's already manifested. It's just you are not visually seeing it. So true, lots of things go into making our dreams come true. It's the journey that matters. Yes, thank you, Zoraida, for sharing your words. Right, so expect a miracle. And, and here, one of the things that is coming up, oh my God, is so strong with this card, is expecting it, right? So it's almost... We don't ever want to be forceful with God, right? It's like, oh no, I might get punished. But God doesn't punish. And it's actually our birthright. It's our birthright to have all of the abundance and the love and the joy and all of our dreams come true. So it's time that we demand it, right? That we expect it to happen, to manifest. That we say, this is mine. I know this is mine because I am a, a being of light. I am a, the daughter, son of God right? And this is my birthright. So I demand it to manifest into existence now and expect it to happen and all things will come. So that is Mother Mary, our goddess for today. You are bright being. Oh, thank you. And then one healing message from the heart. So a healing message for all of us. Ooh. Yeah, here we go. This is a great card. It's a major arcana card. Again, we see the angel here and rebuilding, right? So similarly with the love, we have to really break, up, break away from all of the negativity, all the negative talk, all the negative beliefs, the limiting beliefs, and really step into rebuilding what we want, rebuilding our future. And it's a very powerful card. And if you see, there's pink light around her heart. Right, and with the love with the love message around children and our inner child, again that pink light surrounding ourselves in that pink light came up. So this is a very important message. It's really gonna help us to connect with our inner child, to do the healing that needs to be done in order to begin to rebuild. But rebuilding is part of our journey over the next um, nine days, I think are left before uh, the thirteenth. And there's 13 people on right now. Yay! I love when synchronicities happen. You have been blocked. <laughs> so definitely take time to connect with yourself and know that this is all a journey. And it is a process. And sometimes, you know, you are building something up and then you, you look at it and you're like, I kind of don't like that structure. Or I kind of don't like those windows and you got to tear some of it down to rebuild it. But know that that's just part of the process and it is in divine order. So take this message with you this weekend. Um, again, continue to connect with your inner child. That is really what we're being called to do tonight through tomorrow. I will be back on tomorrow at 4 
for another um, self-love message. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for being here. Thank you all for the hearts. Thank you for sharing with me as well. What about our love language? Our love language is very important, right? But also learning what your inner child needs. What 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 is your inner child's um, needs? What do they, how do they receive love, right? Because how we receive love in relationship might not be what our inner child needs. So I'll talk more about that soon. Um, but until tomorrow, I wish you all a passionate day. What is my zodiac sign? I am an Aquarius. My birthday is on the 13th. And on the 13th, we'll be celebrating Self-Love Day together. I am excited to go to a, a, an awesome training during the daytime. And then I'm going to have a little gathering, uh, birth, a birthing celebration of my life. So I will be scoping from that um, event that I'm having with my loved ones. So I am excited to share the next nine days with you all before the 13th and continue just building a community here through sexuality power. Happy early B-Day. Thank you so much. I think that's the first one I've gotten. <laughs> Aw, thank you. All right, y'all. Have a great night. Have a passionate evening. And until tomorrow... I wish you all well.